Hello, welcome back. I am sorry, it's been quite some time. This is episode 23, Writer's World Radio. I will be your on-the-field host, Matthew Graken. I'm sorry with the Olympics and everything going on, been a little tied up. I hope everyone's been enjoying cheering their country on, some of your favorite athletes, some new sports. Did you watch any new sports? Did you not even watch the Olympics? If you didn't, you might have missed out on some great stuff, some great inspiration, some great stories. But that's okay, because you can always go back. The digital age, everything's around forever. Or, you know, as long as the internet's around and someone doesn't crash it. But the Olympics aside, for the moment, I'll get back to them, believe it or not. It does have to do with today's topic. Someone came to me recently and said, I have a story and I want to know where to begin. So that's what today we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about where to begin. I said to her, well, have you developed your characters? And she said, yes, she has the characters. She knows the general idea of what she wants to do, but where to begin? This is kind of where the Olympics is going to come in. And th this is how I'm going to connect it all. Um, the Olympics, if you watch it, especially if you watch it here in the States, I'm not sure about abroad, how you're got, how the, the media handles it in other countries. But around here, they love to focus in on the stories of each athlete. It's not just, oh, well, he's a father of seven. He's married, and this is his 14th Olympics. It goes beyond that, um, particularly if they find uh, one that they know going in is going to be a uh, an attention grabber, uh, either one of your big athletes or, or something like that. Uh, Simone Biles, uh, they, I know over here, you know, being that she was going in, they knew she was going to be a fantastic gymnast. They gave a whole life story about her, uh, about her parents, about her adoption, um, by her grandparents, who are now her parents, uh, from, you know, because her birth parents uh, were no longer in the picture for one reason or the other. Then how she got into gymnastics and how she evolved to the point of where she's at now. Um, and not even just that, also, what else does she do? Okay, we know she does gymnastics, but talks about how she's a regular teenage girl. How she uh, she goes shopping, gets her nails done, and talks to her friends, and all the, all the stuff that you know normal teenagers do, for the most part, uh, not living a normal teenage life. So that's character development. So that's where you, you that's kind of like your building blocks. You, I mean, yes, okay, you say you got your characters done. Have you developed them to the point, develop the story that you're not writing about? Because uh, writing sometimes, writing a story isn't always about writing the story. You know, you have the part that you're going to write, but there's more writing that you have to do that's not going to be in your finished draft, in, in your manuscript. So you have to figure that out. Once you get all those building blocks together, then you start writing your story. And depending, you know, you also have to figure out, am I writing this first person? Am I writing it second person? Am I writing it third person? Whichever way you decide is gonna make it easier to figure out how you're gonna start off. If you're writing it first person, it's gonna be a narrative. So have the characters start off telling a little about themselves in a situation. You do, you want to start off with a hook. You want to start off with something that's going to grab people immediately. So don't just start off saying, you know, hello, my name is Philip and I will be walking through the woods today and we will discover a dragon. That's not going to go over too well. Um, you start off with Philip going through the woods, you know, saying, you know, he's got, I'm going through these woods today, and I've heard of a nasty beast out there. 
Many friends of mine have gone out looking for this beast, but they have not returned. And I am seeking my friends, and hopefully we'll get them back if they're not dead. And I'm not dead. So, something again, something a little more interesting. I, that's just off the cuff. Um, so, if you're doing first person, yes, start off with a little, you know, attention grabbing narrative. Tells them, tells you a little about it, them, maybe foreshadowing of things that are going to be coming in the further on that no one knows about yet. Third person, if you're doing it in third person, and I don't mention second person because I find it one of the harder ones to write in. Um, but if you know a good hook for a second person or a good way to start off a hook on a second person, put it in the comments below. Uh, tweet it out there. Put it on the Facebook page. Um, need more people posting on there. So if you're doing a third person, kind of start painting the scene. Think of a think of a canvas. You're painting the background. You know, give a you know kind of a, a time frame or you know, in the dark woods, there lived a beast who devoured many people. One young soul has decided to embark on a mission to find this beast. It's something, you know, kind of along those lines. You get what I'm going at, though. So give them a description. Start painting pictures, you know. What do you see immediately? What's the first thing that pops in your head? If as you go along this doesn't work out, remember this is your first draft. And the beautiful thing about drafts, until the point that you've submitted it, until the point that you hit that send button to send it to your publisher, independent author, to send it to the website, whatever it is, to the point that you've sent it to get to go into print. You can change it. So just start it. You know, start with a few simple words. Like I always say, start 10 minutes a day. Just kind of start typing, see what comes to mind. So lay, paint the background picture, paint the, the initial picture, something captivating. You know, New York City, the fine city amongst its many tall buildings. The people below look like ants whenever you're standing, standing on top of the Empire State Building. But the drop is long, the drop is far down, but it only happens in a matter of seconds. Splat! A person's body hits the pavement, their blood splatters all over the place. A bypassing woman screams and shrieks! That's a good entrance. Something like that, that will catch, you know, hook people in. They're going to find out what is going on. That's a good, that, that is a good story for, you know entrance for a story. I have to make note of that. Um, so, just put it down. Put it down see what happens. I know this sounds very vague, but that, really that's what it comes down to. You know, Once you, you've gotten to the point that you know these characters and you start hearing them talking in your mind, that's when you start writing. What are they telling you to say? Where are they telling you to put down? Where do you see them? That's what you got to do, and that's how you move it on. Like I said, just like in the Olympics, every athlete has a story. What is that story? Where did they begin? How did they get involved in the subject, their event, and the struggles, the trials, the tribulations that they had to go through to get there? Usain Bolt even has a story. He hasn't lost recently. But when he first started, he did. Most people don't know that. So the, again, you know, these are good little backstories, and and that's the type of stuff that fills in and builds up the rest of it. And that's how you develop your characters. By developing your characters, you develop your story. The more interesting a character is, the more people want to learn about them. The more they're going to read into the book. If you're writing a series, the more they're going to keep going with the series, and you keep developing the character throughout the series. So, I hope that helps, Linda. Um, if anyone else has any suggestions, again, put them in the comments below here on YouTube. Uh, you can send them to me on email. I'll mention them in the next cast, which will not be this long from in between the two the times. I'm, again, I'm sorry. Um, you know, hey, but send them on the email at writersworldradio, writersworldradio at yahoo.com. 
That is the new email address. Feel free to use it liberally. Um, Facebook, facebook.com slash Matthew J. Graken. Put up the post there. That's the best way to communicate with, uh, with everybody for us to keep the communication going, the story going. Uh, Twitter, at Matthew J. Graken. All of them use the hashtag. You don't have to use it for the email, but use the hashtag Writers World Radio. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Please, again, communicate. Put the comments below. Let us know what's going on. If you have a suggestion for a topic, put it below. You know, I do look at the suggestions and, and try to follow up on them. If you have any suggestion, any ideas on this topic or previous topics, put it on the comment below. Tweet it out. Send in the email. Uh, put up on the Facebook. Again, Facebook, I personally think, is one of the better ones. Twitter works, too, because that reaches thousands of people. Um, make sure you review. Like this video. Review if you're listening to the audio podcast. Rate it. The more ratings you people get, the more that iTunes and Google, the Google App Store, Google, whatever they call them themselves nowadays, is going to broadcast and you know, get more people involved. The more people get involved, the better discussions we have. The better discussions we have, the more ideas, the better we'll learn, the more communication. And that is key. Coming up in October, speaking of communication, most libraries will be holding... And I'll talk about this as it gets closer. A independent author day. Um, so check out your local libraries. Independent authors is great for networking. Um, does, you, you know, even if you're not an independent author, if you're starting out, go to these events and meet with people and you can discuss things just like we're doing now. Again, hope everyone's doing well. You're getting your 10 minutes of writing in. I'm looking at you. And uh, you never know where you're going to get with that. Ten minutes a day, by the end of it, you'll be amazed how far you got, have gone. You know, just keep it up. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. You can do it. You can get it done. You know, work on that idea. Knead it. Mold it. You know, even if it, it turns out to be nothing, the fact that you've taken that first step to try and write something from it, is enormous and the next time that you come up with the idea it's gonna be that much easier again I'm your host Matthew Graken feel free to reach out to me and I'll see you next time